Hey there, I'm Emily, and welcome to my beer channel. probably tell my life is a little disorganized right now because I'm preparing to move to Dallas. If you're like me and when you get disorganized you need to make yourself a list. A list of things to help you figure out what you need to get done and then you get the satisfaction of crossing those things off the list. To represent the disorganization in my life I'm going to be drinking three completely unrelated beers. And to represent the organization in my life I'm going to be creating a useful list of things so that you can prepare yourself if you ever have to move. So the first beer that I'm going to be trying is from Brow Brothers Brewing Company. And this is the Alternative Imperial Alt. Ooh, ah. This beer is quite a dark brown color. The aroma of these malts are slightly toasty. So this beer was brewed in the Party Guile tradition. Party Guile Brewing is a throwback brewing method that serves to maximize efficiency by using a single grain bed to brew more than one beer. So basically they started making the beer, they stopped halfway in between and separated it between one and two, and they finished making this beer, and then they used a the leftover wort, added a little bit more um, malt, and made a second beer. Does that make sense? I hope so. Number one on your list of things to do when moving. Sort through your things and decide if you want to keep it and move it with you or donate it or throw it away. If you can't decide, just keep it. I'm sure you're going to use it sometime. And it has a slightly nutty roasted flavor to it. Overall, I give this beer 3 out of 5 stars. <coughs> and the second thing to go on your list is to throw yourself a going away party. You have lots of friends in the area and you want to say goodbye to them one last time. So make a Facebook event about it to gather everybody together. And then check that Facebook event constantly so that you can keep track of who's going and who's not. <coughs> the next beer I'll be trying is from Spretcher Brewing Company and this is actually a hard root beer. I don't know, I just picked it out. Well, it's dark like a root beer. It smells exactly like a root beer. It smells pretty good. No way this has alcohol in it. This is so good. This is dangerously good. Well, I know how I'm going to be getting rid of all the rest of my ice cream before I move. And speaking of, the third thing we can add to our list is to start eating all of the perishable food items. These are things that you're not going to want to move because they're not going to make it. So what you're going to need to do is start eating all of them at the same time in one meal. Do it. Alright, well this is all that I have left in my fridge. I've got some pizza, I've got some ice cream, I've got some jam, and some salsa. So dig in! Mmm, so good. So overall I give this root beer about 3 out of 5 stars. <coughs> that pizza does to me. <laughs> the fourth thing we're going to add to our list is packing. You're going to use all of these boxes and you can put all of your things in them. Helpful tip, take the biggest box that you have and use that for all of your books. If you're like me, you like things organized in an alphabetical order, so by using a large box for all of your books, you can keep them in the order that you have them on your shelf. <coughs> The last beer that we're going to be trying tonight is from Boulevard Brewing Company, and this is called Boss Tom's Golden Bock. Best Buy July 3rd. Thanks, Ivy. I'm going to ignore that. This beer was recommended to me by the lady who works at Ivy. She says it's her favorite thing right now, so let's test it out. The name Golden Bock rings true as the color of this beer is quite golden. This beer has a slight biscuity and wheaty aroma. This beer has a slight caramely flavor to it, but the hops present in a more floral taste. The fifth thing we're going to do on our moving list is to pack an overnight bag. You're going to use this the day that you actually move. You're going to want to pack one change of clothes, because when you get there, you're going to want to change and then unpack everything. 
once you've unpacked everything, all of your boxes should be well labeled so you can find all of your clothes and your shampoo and your soap to use when you get home. <coughs> Overall, I give this beer two and a half out of five stars. Well, thank you for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm going to leave you with one more tidbit of advice, and it's to change your address. Notify all of the important businesses and people in your life that you're moving so that they can send you all of the updates that you need. So this includes people like your public library, your elementary school, and your dentist. Wish me luck as I continue to move my life into these boxes, and we'll see you next week. Bye!